Hey, what's up, YouTubers? It's Elusive, and I'll actually be doing a processor upgrade to the Fujitsu Lifebook AH532 series. What I'm holding is an i7 processor. It has thermal paste on it. So what I'll be doing is removing that. I don't know if you guys could see this that well because of its size. What I'll be doing before I do the upgrade is firing up the laptop, proving, or at least documenting, the original processor and as far as like specifications go. So again, this is a brand new laptop. I have not even turned it on to install Windows or anything like that. It comes with Windows, so I'll be upgrading the hard drive and all that. So what I'll be doing is turning on the laptop. For upgrading the processor, you'll need a couple of things. One is, for sure, is to remove this thermal paste, which I'll be doing. Another thing is also thermal paste. I am using Arctic Silver 5, and that's the paste I'll be using for this processor. And you'll be needing also isopropyl rubbing alcohol. I strongly recommend using a higher percentage. So with that, I'll be using Q-tips, of course. So I could rub that off, make sure it's nice and clean. And you'll also need, one of the main tools here is a Phillips screwdriver. So those are the necessary tools in order to upgrade a processor on basically any laptop or desktop really. Minus the Phillips screwdriver might vary in size of course. And again, this is the processor. Hopefully no pins are bent. It doesn't look like any are in transport. And I was lucky to obtain this, so I am very, very thrilled. This is the i7-2620M, so that gives it quite a bit of turbo boost as opposed to... I don't know if it's 2350M, but I'll probably update the comments, so... So I'll be turning on the laptop so you could see the specs of it. So once I'm done turning it on, I am going to power it off, remove the battery, and once I'm done removing the battery, I will attempt to remove the processor very carefully of course once the processor is removed I will safely put it onto a piece of paper so that uh, in case if I need to return it I won't have any problems doing so here we go so we go into the boot menu so right off the bat it does say its specifications it does say it has an Intel Core i3 2350M at 2.3 GHz with 4 gigs of DDR3 RAM installed. It is a Lifebook AH532. And that's pretty much that with the BIOS as of April of this year. So with that, I am okay with everything. So I'll hit exit, discarding changes, and I will be powering off the laptop. So now I will attempt to close it, of course and proceed to remove the battery so then that way there's no power going to the actual laptop so anything bad can go wrong hopefully not okay and now we're going to remove the panel and to remove the panel we're going to there's a little notch here and you'll just put your finger there and you'll hear like a little pop and there's actually clips that go in so you just gotta slowly go and loosen up the clips as you go along and it comes out and you don't want to force anything because that's the worst thing you could do so once this is out it looks like so and on to the actual laptop so that is the actual processor it is an i3 and what I'll be doing is removing it so of course to removing it I will be removing the um, sticker that's on it once that's out there are four screws here as noted This actually takes off the heat pipe tube that there is that's there. In order to get this processor out, there's actually a little slot. And so with this, you might have to actually bend it up just oh so slightly. So the next optical is to remove this fan. To do that, there's a pin right on the board, so you'll be removing that out carefully, which supplies power to this fan. And in addition, there is one screw on the board along with another one that keeps this in place. Once those two are removed, you should then be able to proceed and have access to the processor. So I'm going to be removing one screw first. We take out the other screw. 
and that looks successful. Okay, so that is out, and so is the fan, and I am just slowly trying to position the fan to where I could get it, there we go, out of the way. So the fan is out of the way. So looking at the fan assembly, this is the actual um, heat sink. So this is the fan assembly, and this is the thermal paste that will be wiping off the actual heat tube here. So when you want to get this processor out, it's actually facing this way, or, but then you want to move it this way, I think. Yeah, so it actually, the socket moves out more, and the processor comes out just like that. So this is the original i3 that came with the motherboard. So that's the i3, and so as we mentioned, we'll be getting a Q-tip here and wiping down the processor. Oh. Bad news, folks. I just dropped a processor on the carpet. So if it doesn't work, then I'll just have to put back the i3 and call it a day. So that's this guy here, wiping off all the smudge and buildup that was on the processor. I really hope this processor works, but there is an 80% chance that it won't because it fell on the carpet. Okay, at this point, once the processor is clean, you'll notice that the core is very reflective. One Q-tip has been officially used, and the processor at this point is looking a lot better, minus the somewhat smudge marks, but it's looking pretty good. I'm going to give it a once-over. Okay, so really quick, what I did was clean off this processor so now it's nice and ready to go inside the main board or socket but before I do that I actually have to clean off this guy and all this mess here so this is what it looks like once it's clean so what I will be doing next is um, seating the processor back into the main board and to do so uh, the processor is facing that way with the pins going that way, of course. And it looks like it does fit. And now I'll be locking this in, into place. So then that way the processor is put. So then that goes the other direction, of course. Okay, that's good. The screw is facing straight. When you loosen it, you basically go this direction. And then when you want to tighten it, back to this direction. We're going to put back the actual heat sink. We're going to place some um, thermal compound on the processor. So there's tons of methods to do this whole thermal paste thing. The method I'm going to do actually is put a real small dab of it and let the actual heat sink itself do the work. So with this, I'm going to put just a little drop. That's it. Just a little bit. There you go. So it looks something like that. That's all you really need. Pretty much something of that size on the processor. And I don't want to take second guesses, so that's going to have to do. If it blows up, it's on me. So at this point, I am going to seat this back into place. And it looks like almost everything is good. And I need to follow and make sure everything is aligned. Okay, cool. So I will be doing one of two first. Okay, so one side screwed in. Now I just need to do the second side for the fan assembly, and I think we are good. Oh, and also you have to connect the fan. Okay, that's good. And now we're going to put in the fan. So these little jumpers here only go in one way, so you should be fine. And now we are going to secure the actual heat sink here. So we're going to put one side in. Okay, so now make sure and tighten this even more. So that's that. So that's what it takes to add the processor in the um, main board. So I pretty much screwed back in the panel on the laptop. I'm going to turn it on for the first time since I've upgraded the processor. So I don't have that much battery left on this. Hopefully all is well. And here we go. Cross your fingers. 
Okay. It reads it. <laughs> oh, yeah. i7 processor. So that's how you upgrade your Fujitsu Lifebook AH532. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video on how to upgrade your processor. And thank you guys for watching. Um, feel free to tune into my channel. And I'm actually just zooming this in so you guys can see that. Lifebook, they're on the screen. I pretty much got two minutes of battery life here. So, just want to let you guys know it's not that hard. And if you want me to do it, I could do it at um, for an additional fee, of course. And that is the original processor that came with it. So that's the i3 processor that came with the laptop. So... Thank you guys for tuning in and watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Feel free to send me a message, add me, like me, all that good stuff. Thanks again. And stay tuned for more good videos and overclocking, things like that.